I got caught out there, 160, named Blunt. It was like, you know how to smoke, man? I ain't say He was like, yo, do your hand like this. No, sure. If you start some shit down at that block, you in the car and you driving up this way, your shit gonna make it to that street right there. Cause everybody gonna know by the time you get here, they gonna fuck your shit up. Cause there's only one way in, one way out. Well, two ways out, but one way in. Once you in here, you in it. That could be two things. It's on or police. And this one used to keep us on point and shit. Here they come. Oh. Oh. Look, some is looking now. Look, some is looking around now. Like, where they at? This is the only place where you can get in a fight with a and lose and shit to snap on you all fucking day. Y'all still be friends. We gotta go to school with each other day. the next day. You know when you were coming down the steps. <laughs> oh, I wish you could see it. I got my hair here and shit. Oh, I bust myself wide open, oh, nigga. There was yeah. a party in yeah, here somewhere. I, I snatched street hat off his head and I'm going down the door. steps. I get to the fourth <laughs> step. <laughs> I'm coming down because we experts <laughs> on them steps. It's like, yeah. I get to the fourth one, I go to jump. Hit my head on that shit, Bang. And when I bust my ass, the 40 ounce broke, everything yeah, broke, right. and I just got up like this. Oh, I'm looking at these niggas, I go like this, and I'm like, oh shit, I'm bleeding. And I just walked off. Took off I was fucked night. up that night, though. I was already drunk. Yeah, was I wasn't sure. here for it, but they niggas recall when the nigga jumped off the fucking building. He did that about three fence. times. Three times? Yeah, that was Martin from this yeah, jumped off, off the roof. This is before they put the He did it three times? <laughs> and he had survived it? Yeah. He don't break nothing? No, that first time he done went hang the, uh, the Chinese movies had something to do with it? Hell no, it was no. the dust. <laughs> that was the old week. What you do when you when you got your first check, like a first check? Wu Tang check, like whatever check, like a first that you from rap. I went out here, apartment. Right here? No, I got an apartment. Oh. I got a place to stay and shit, cause it was right. me and me and my wife. Well, she was my girl at the time, but it was us two, so I had to find a place to stay. You can't be one of them niggas and shit. Like, look, I got a brand new car, but we ain't got no place to live. At Rick. what point did you know you was nice? Cap listened to my whole rhyme was like, I was nice. Ooh, that's it was in 57 Rec Room. Right. I'll never forget it. Cause he wouldn't say that to nobody. Oh, I mean, he wouldn't say that shit to me. I don't know what he said to anybody. Yeah. Else. I'm telling you, I was the last nigga to get down with GBK, and two weeks later, it wasn't no GBK. <laughs> Blue Man was down, fucking you got RZ, RZ, uh, Chef. It was a couple of other niggas too and shit, but yeah, yeah. You know how y'all felt when y'all seen all this shit happening? Like, I'm like a generation under them, so I, yeah, I see it all. Anybody you want to call after that, whether it was eight members for real or nine, I'm the next one after that. I'm Wu yeah. brother number one, Staten Island most popular son. Like, Y'all was New York, like, and it's crazy because New the city wouldn't even look at Staten Island. But at that time, that. everybody looked at New York City and thought about yeah. Staten Island. Yeah. So I used to be excited about shows, but as soon as I heard we had shows in New York, butterflies. I used to get anxiety like a motherfucker because I already knew who was coming. Was, <laughs> I knew who was, was coming. I got banned from the garden for a minute and shit because of Carlton and street life. Niggas fighting the security and shit. You know, when you hit a bouncer, nigga, they gonna fuck you up and shit. I'm waiting for the punches. They ain't throw not one punch. Fuck Madison Square Garden, nigga. I was out there. Beep! I started just laying them. Beep! Oh, oh, you Beep! Oh, y'all ain't hitting back. Beep! Beep! I asked was the fuck up out of there and shit. That's crazy. I, I I appreciate you bringing me out here, man. Absolutely, man. Uh, sharing this with me. Yo, you know Mac, man? Mac leaving the goal. Yeah, I'm West leaving. Coast this is my. Listen, I ain't gonna lie. I say this all the time. But this brother right here, I, I, I ain't meet a brother like this yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he taught me pay it forward. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I appreciate you. I, I had to stop over here, stop by, say, and I wanted to get the story of the of where you come from. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you me? did. You whooped AD out. Who? AD. Huh? Who the fuck? Uh, AD, AD was just here yesterday oh, too. Shit. Yeah. Park, park. AD. Now we four. Four. <laughs> Cause he a big motherfucker. Yeah, he, like, he couldn't cut. Like he ain't had no hands, so he was looking to grab and shit. So he grabbed me and he slammed my shit. <laughs> Boom! I was like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but I was yeah. tagging him though. He couldn't fuck with me in the hand. Then when he caught my shit. He just flung my shit. I felt little, you feel me? Like, it was at that point I felt like, damn, I gotta eat some more. Like, that nigga's huge. Like, when I moved here, when I first moved to Park Hill, that's what Park Hill was known for. Oh, yeah. They hands. Uh, what's the 52 uh, block? Uh, you know? I know three. Bop, bop, bop. That's it. That's all I know. 52 block. It's like a defense like a jail martial art. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My man Booby, his brother Bass was nice. Bass would fight niggas like this. Yeah. yeah. Right? What? Yeah, 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 yeah. And niggas used to get into it because they had the Paris crew down there and up here was Av crew. The Av crew. Was turned into fucking BCC after that. Once it turned into BCC, nigga. Oh, 
Uh, like this shit, like uh, like I said, certain neighborhoods you can drive through and the shit looks so fucking now the way it looks now, it looks very inviting. But back in the day with just the poles out here, niggas everywhere, just niggas pile up on top. Niggas was scared this, this to fucking crazy death. Over here. My little homegirls from New Brighton used to come through. I used to walk them upstairs because I knew, I, I knew niggas was lurking. You know what I mean? Then it got to a point where everybody was just sticking up niggas down right. at the building and yeah, shit. Yo, we gonna stick them up from 8 to 12. Y'all niggas got 1 to 5. It's like, eh. It was a lot of shit happening there. You think it was worse then and now? It was worse then, but it's crazy now. I didn't see that I see now is all these niggas OGs now, right? Right. So they giving back. Well, I didn't see a lot of that back when I was, you know what I mean? Occasional turkeys on, on Thanksgiving, that was it. Right. These niggas is building fucking parks and fucking rec centers and shit for the kids out this motherfucker. People, they wasn't doing that shit for us back then. You ain't never seen going, little kids do so much grown up shit in your life, man. We was little kids doing grown up shit. I'm telling you, I was amazed. Even smoking the weed, right. like 11, I'm 12 years old. Like I got caught out there, 160, named Blunt. It was like, you know how to smoke, man? I ain't say shit. He was like, yo, do your hand like this. Took my hand like this, and he was like, I'm gonna blow the smoke in there, all right? When I blow the smoke in there, don't inhale till I tell you to. That shit filling up with smoke. Then he was like, okay, breathe in. Took that bitch, choked, I ain't looked back since. I've been a pothead ever since. Shotgun. Shout out to Blunt for getting a 12 year old high. Nobody was staying in the house. We wasn't staying in the house type niggas and shit. Wasn't no internet and shit like that. You was outside. And outside, whatever it was, that's what it was for the day. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, I was, in the, I was in the house. He was outside too, nigga. He was outside. He was outside. Like I said, Mac, anytime, any day. Yeah. Just let me know and shit. Yes, and I sir. wish you best on your travels to the West Coast. Alright? I hope they know what they getting. Yeah, they gonna get, you know, they know. Everybody gonna know. You know what I'm saying? Everybody gonna know. And if they don't know, they gonna find out. Facts. He said, what's up? He said, what? Nico, nigga. Oh, man. He better not come out here. <laughs> oh, man. I just, I didn't even want to be involved with that, honestly. Like, that was some weird shit, you feel mm. me? Like, that was just weird, you know what I'm saying? If I could give back any part of my life, I would give that part back, you know what I'm saying? Because it was just a week of weird shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't live like that, and I don't like to be around that shit. All right. All right, we're going to go now. Yeah, we're going to be off, bro. Good to see you, Joe. Yo, yo. That's this whole side wall. See the fence right there? This is the gate right here. This is this whole wall. This is what was there before. The nigga fucking Gano fucking painted over my name and didn't put it back. So I did it myself. They went over something that was the original two cent case. Right. But um, Y'all used to chill right here? Nah, this was not our chill spot. Oh, no, this was this. Right around this corner at the PLO store. But this was just, you know, it's a wall. Right. Get your ass going here. You know, just, uh, what up, my guy? Passing through. <laughs> Well, you can't, ain't it obvious? Look at the wall, nigga, that's what I'm doing. Like when Protect Your Neck, first time I got played on the radio, kick a pre-play, Shabby was down there, nigga had a little 22, bust off two shot, bop, bop. Mm. Happy as fuck for us, man. I got it.